Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey, welcome back, everybody. This dry weather pattern just keeps on coming for this area. As a matter of fact, you can see there as we look at this, really eight of the last nine months, including May now, below normal on precip. I mean, only March was above normal. We really could use some rain. I don't see much of that in the coming days. We'll be talking about that here in just a little bit, but the dry weather pattern looks like it's going to hang around for a while and probably maybe ending out the month with hardly any rainfall between now and the end of the month. So here's what we've got with the Indianapolis 500. I want to show you some of the extreme weather we've had for the 500. The hottest ever for the daytime high was back in 1937 when it was 92. But those of you who go to the race probably remember 2018 and 2012. It was 91 both of those years. Also in 53 and in 19. The coldest as far as the daytime high, 58. 1992 and the wettest almost four inches of rain in 2004. And by the way, that year, the race ended under a tornado warning. There were tornadoes near the area at that time. So some extreme weather for the 500 this year actually is looking pretty good. And you'll see that forecast coming up in a little bit. 84 today, that ties for the warmest day of the year. That'll stand for one day because tomorrow will probably be warmer than that as it starts to warm up even more. No rainfall. That continues to be the issue. 1.67. So we're three inches behind for the month. So it looks like it'll be the eighth out of nine months in a row that we have seen below normal precipitation, at least here at the TV station. Wabash River in Terre Haute continues a slow fall. It's about six and a half feet now. Here's what it looks like now as far as the things that we're looking at. And basically we're headed for some nice Nice weather, although it's going to turn a little cooler by Thursday and Friday. So summer temps now, cooler Thursday, Friday, a nice holiday weekend, and a lot of sunshine between now and the end of the weekend. It's also going to mean warmer temperatures longer term as well. 82 at the airport in Terre Haute right now. But the relative humidity is only 31%, so the air is very dry. Here's our cycle cast. This is projected for 7 o'clock this evening, so in about 40 minutes or so. Still warm, 81, a lot of sunshine. We we'll have a light southeast breeze. So if you're going to be out this evening on the bike or anything, weather looking good. Temperatures right now pretty much lower 80s out there. We have an 84 still down in the Vincennes area. Water vapor satellite, this is the drier air right across this area. Going to stay that way. There's not anything near us until you get way down here in Missouri, and those are just popping up with the heat of the day. So locally, there's nothing showing up on the satellite or the radar, and we're all clear on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, but we do actually have some rain. See that? Off to the southwest of St. Louis. These are just popping up. The air mass type thunderstorms popping up in the heat of the day, lifting back to the north northwest, so not even headed this way, and they'll die off when the sun goes down this evening. So nothing tonight. Nothing tomorrow, probably a little bit warmer tomorrow. Now, tomorrow late in the day, we have a what we call backdoor cold front, which is going to move in. Notice how the wind will push the, what little bit of cloud cover we have back to the southwest. That front will actually cool us off a little bit on Thursday and Friday, but no moisture. So it looks like just a few clouds with it. And look at this. Long term, we just really don't see much. This takes us all the way through the holiday weekend. The system to the southeast may throw some moisture in here, but probably not in the way to give us rain. Speaking of rain, this is rainfall forecast for the next week. Look at this. This goes all the way out until Tuesday of next week. Nothing here. So we'll have to keep an eye, but we don't see much in the way of rain. We see this, so warm weather to end May and going to the first week of June. But unfortunately, we continue with the dry weather pattern across this area. Forecast for tonight then looks pretty good. Clear skies will drop down into the mid 50s, about 55 for the low. Tomorrow then, sunshine a little bit warmer tomorrow mid to upper 80s for a daytime high. And then after that, we'll cool off just a little bit as we take you into Thursday and Friday. Temperatures back in the 70s for highs. Holiday weekend looks good. Gradually warmer. We could be at 90 one week from today.